Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to do a real quick video on this wallet slash case that I got for my new phone. Well, at least new to me. So I recently got this Samsung Galaxy S9 and I wanted to get a case for it that will also, as you can kind of see in this picture, hold cards and uh, money and anything like that so I can have everything in one spot. Now, I've liked and used this type of case for a while. Um, First, I, I years ago had an original Samsung Galaxy and I did not use a case for it and kind of got bunged up. So the next thing that I did when I upgraded phones is I ended up, uh, you know, I don't know, this was probably five, six years ago. I got this Nokia Lumia 920 and I got this case slash wallet. And this is exactly what we're talking about today is a, a case similar to this where you can put in cards and hold your phone simultaneously. So that thing worked awesome. And in fact, when I upgraded from this Lumia and I ended up getting a Samsung Galaxy S6, Seven, that's the same style that I got It's this case so um, let's just keep on uh, if it ain't broke don't fix it let's go ahead and take a look at this type of case this again is by casemate and in this situation it's for the Samsung Galaxy s9 they make them for a whole bunch of different phones so uh, again nothing super interesting about the box um, at least on the front on the back what's kind of interesting about this uh, if you read some of the description it's a little bit comical but but one thing that's interesting, I don't know if you can see this down here, it says wireless charging may not function with this product. So that'll be interesting. It definitely worked the last time when I had my Samsung Galaxy S7. So it'll be interesting, interesting to see if it works for the S9 as well. So we'll test that out. The other thing that I found very interesting about this when I got the box is, look at this thing on the side. What is this, $60? This is crazy. Let me, let me show you why this is crazy. All right, so here's why this is a little bit crazy. If you go to the Casemate website and you go ahead and look up this uh, wallet case, you come here and you see, oh yeah, sure, $60. I guess that's what this thing costs. And actually, I've seen it. If you hang around this website long enough, um, it'll flash up a coupon for 20% off. And you might be thinking, oh, that's a great deal. Let's uh, yeah, sign me up right now. I'm going to add this to the cart. Well, don't do that because I didn't even know they had a website. I was just going on eBay looking for a uh, cell phone wallet style cases and this is what i ended up with it's this casemate um cover wallet for the galaxy s9 and look at this i paid four dollars for mine so more than an order of magnitude savings um and i'm sure this is because my phone that i bought this s9 it's a couple of years old so it's not the newest latest and greatest so apparently that helps you save uh, a lot on accessories as well all right, so with that being said, let's get this $4 product out of the box. So, uh, surprisingly for $4, not too shabby. Uh, yeah, look at this. Comes in this nice kind of case. It's uh, <laughs> interesting. Again, for $4, I don't know how they're making any money on this. Maybe for $60 they are. Oh, look at this. And again, this is actually quite nice. Uh, okay, there's that. What else is in here? These are just... Yep. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what that's talking about. It says, remove any credit cards or other cards with magnetic strips when using wireless charging as these could be damaged. Uh, I never ever had a problem with this when I had my old Galaxy S7 in this type of a case. So I'm going to completely disregard this warning. And I'm going to end up throwing credit cards or whatever in this and seeing how it works. So that being said, let's get rid of all this junk. Here's the case. Looks fine. It's got a good cutout for the camera here on the Galaxy S9. Let's go ahead and make sure that everything fits nicely. So let's pop the phone in. Yeah, okay. Pretty idiot proof. Um, let's just make sure, yep, clearances look good. The volume up, volume down, Bixby key. Power button fits nicely. Um, on the bottom, yeah, you've got a good cutout for your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and uh, USB type C. So in a nutshell, this looks pretty great. Um, although, yeah, let's look at the back cutout for the camera and the fingerprint sensor. So that's one thing that I was definitely concerned about is this fingerprint sensor. Um, to get it to work, you have to have your, uh, as you can imagine, you just need to touch that. But since now there's a, uh, a bit of a raised reset so let's see if this is still easy to get your finger on. So now if I just put my finger back here, oh yeah, that feels actually really good. So it's no problem. 
So let me just lock this again just to double check and I'll just touch it with my finger. Yeah, look at that, no problem. Okay, so that's awesome. Definitely something I was concerned about was being able to easily access the fingerprint reader uh, using this case, but that seems to be a, a non-issue. Um, okay, so the only thing is, uh, I can't remember if this thing claimed it had a little magnetic clasp or something like that. This lid doesn't shut or doesn't stay shut which really doesn't matter um on some of these older cases that i had like for example let's look at this old one i had for my lumia 920 it had this little magnetic clasp that just clip you're right just clip and that held it together shut um which seemed to work okay uh on my galaxy s7 my old one that uh, that this phone just died on me out of um, if you're interested but this thing did you can kind of see the the magnet right there it had a clasp that was uh, just a sloop of little fake leather with a magnet on the end and that ended up just completely breaking off after you know i don't know about a about a year of use so uh this case now is the exact same as this case <laughs> in the sense that the tops don't uh, stay closed. But again, that magnetic clasp is not a big deal. So, uh, okay, this case is looking great. Um, definitely great for $4, maybe not great for $60, but let's go ahead and stuff it full with some cards. And then let's also test the wireless charging because that's the thing that uh, I did not see a lot of uh, demonstrations showing proof of feasibility of using the wireless charging uh, with the case on. All right, so here's the case, and as you can see, I've stuffed it full of, uh, you know, credit cards, driver's license, you know, cash, business cards, whatever, right? Um, now, the question is, here is a wireless charger. So here, this is a uh, Nanami fast charge system, and the question is, will the phone still be able to perform wireless charging functions, even though you can kind of see it's, it's somewhat thick uh, behind it? So basically, can I do wireless charging with the case um, and the phone as is without having to take the phone out of the case. So tell you what, let's give it a try right now. So we're just gonna drop it on the charger. And there you go, look at that, it's charging. So here you go, proof of feasibility that even if you have a wallet style case or protector like this, it's got no problem uh, charging through this wireless inductive charging system. So while we're talking about wireless, uh, how about wireless payments and NFC transactions? Well, here I am at my local hardware store and as you can see, contactless payments still work great through the case. I've used this for the past several months with Samsung Pay at various stores and I've never had a problem. All right, so there you have it, a comprehensive look at the Casemate wallet-style cell phone holder and protector. Um, I've been using it for several months, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, it performs very nicely. It feels good. There aren't too many scratches or blemishes, as you can see on it. Things like uh, the placement for all the buttons work well. In fact, even things like the, uh, the fingerprint sensor in the back, for example, like if I can just open and just put my finger on the back very easily, and as you can see, it's very easy to unlock the phone. Things like wireless charging and can NFC payments work perfectly even through the case. So uh, I like it. In fact, <laughs> the, the reason I like it even more is that it's apparently a $60 case that I only paid $4 for. <laughs> so um, with that being said, I guess this is a good spot to leave it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if so, I also hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Surprisingly, if you just scroll a little ways down on the YouTube page and click on that subscribe button, it really does help me continue to make these videos. And uh, speaking of the videos, remember the new videos come out every Monday. So uh, I hope you'll join me on one of these future discussions and we can all learn something new together. So until I talk to you again, I think I'm going to sign off for now. See ya. Bye.